for Eva Tanguay, who is the topic of Andrew Erdman's new book, Queen of Vaudeville, The Story of Eva Tanguay. So the song, she, she sort of comes into the possession of this song in 1904, records it in 1922, as we heard a little bit of earlier. Does it become like something she can't escape from at that point? Absolutely. Um, you know, it was kind of an albatross around her neck. I, I sometimes think of, you know, rock bands that had like one huge hit and 20 years later, you know, trying to put their kids through college, they are forced to, you know, play it at theme parks. Um, you know, Eva also, she was a complicated character. She was a person with big mood swings and ups and downs and a lot of demons. So it was true in a sense that for her to always have to put on this happy, I don't care face was difficult. At the same time, she was a real master publicist. So she got a lot of mileage out of saying, you know, she told so many journalists, you know, I really do care. She even came up, she even wrote a song called I Really Do Care After All, <laughs> you know, which was a sort of countermeasure to her right. own success. So she, she played it well, but it, there was also some truth to it.